Hammer Tech? Yeah. The right to bear arms has extended to the comic book world in a major way. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 comic book characters who use guns. The name's Cable. For this list, we'll be taking a look at all the comic book characters that are commonly seen packing heat, and not just known to employ it as a secondary option. We're also looking at traditional firearms and not things like death rays and freeze rays. Whatever you say, Ponytail, we might say no to a little murder. Strike a pose. Number 10, Rocket Raccoon. I live for the simple things. Like how much this is gonna hurt. <laughs> What's worse than an angry raccoon, you say? How about an angry raccoon with an affinity for anything that goes boom? What's your problem, Hairless? Rocket may look like your ordinary forest critter, however, he possesses the knowledge and skill of a seasoned marksman, making him more than all right with his signature laser pistols. Imagine if Wolverine was a master strategist raccoon with a laser gun and a rocket pack. What did you call me? Not scared of that? Well, just be sure to clear the room when he gets his hands on the heavy artillery. Oh, yeah. Number nine, War Machine. It's functional, fully mission capable. Good, get Hammer down here to weaponize it. There are some men that carry their weapons, but War Machine literally wears them on his sleeve. Lieutenant James Rhodes, or Rhodey, dons a battle-ready suit of armor that holds an arsenal of artillery, such as his signature shoulder minigun, a variety of missile launchers, barrel cannons, and a built-in tactical computer system with automatic targeting. This is an M134 762 minigun, six individual barrels, the torso taker, powder maker. Our boys in uniform call it Uncle Gaspacho or Puff the Magic Dragon. Coupled with this extensive military training, the War Machine suit is more than just an Iron Man knockoff, and repulsor rays and unibeams are no match for a good boomstick by your side. Number 8. Grifter. Don't worry, hot legs, we're on your side. After being exposed to the heinous government experiment Gen Factor, this operative received a wide array of abilities. Although his skill with firearms has always been considered a natural gift. Plan B. Take down as many on both sides as you can. Maybe we can kill enough of them to call off this war. Now working as a mercenary, Grifter is widely known for possessing the world's most deadly aim, making him not only a threat to humans, but otherworldly beings as well. Fall, damn it, fall! Despite being trained in all kinds of weaponry, Grifter is normally seen sporting two twin pistols. I like your style, Batman. A pity we never teamed up when the world still existed. Number seven, Crossbones. Thanks. Yeah, you seem pretty helpless without me. This criminal's fascination with weapons and violence would lead him into becoming Red Skull's most prized marksman. Crossbones would be trained by none other than the Taskmaster, before being recruited as Red Skull's bodyguard. His combat skills make him an expert in a number of firearms, and he never leaves the house without him. While Crossbones prefers to do things hand to hand, his precision with long range weapons is just as impressive. And he even took out Captain America himself. Number 6, Hellboy. When working for the Bureau for Paranormal Research and Defense, keeping a peace on you at all times is essential. Being the incarnate of the demon Azazel has endowed Hellboy with immense strength unreal fortitude, and enhanced recovery. So he packs an oversized revolver to keep things consistent. Listen, Sammy, I'm not a very good shot, but this Samaritan here uses really big bullets. He has, however, grown accustomed to this versatile gun, as it is the only weapon that can hold his specialized rounds. These range from explosive shells to tracking bullets. But of course, he still has to let his fists do a lot of the talking. <laughs> Get out of here, Blue. Number five, Judge Dredd. Reload. Ready? Yeah. If you plan on policing this dystopian future, you better be packing some major heat. Judge Dredd upholds the law as judge, jury, and executioner. And by the look of his various weaponry, it's safe to say he's come prepared. Yeah, I heard you hot shot. What? I said, hot shot. 
His lawgiver handgun, granted to him by the Justice Department, is DNA coded, allowing him exclusive access to it. The weapon holds a large assortment of ammo, allowing Dredd to either incapacitate his victim or take a more lethal approach. Incendiary. Number four, Cable. Uh -uh. Having access to time travel doesn't come without its various perks. Being born to destroy one of the most powerful mutants in history allows Cable to be more than just a capable mercenary. I wish there was some other way. While Cable's arsenal normally consists of high-powered plasma rifles, he's also adept at present-day weaponry such as handguns and assault rifles. Despite being extensively trained in all forms of combat, Cable always prefers to use his firearms over his mutant abilities. Number 3. Deathstroke A master assassin can turn almost any object into a weapon, but that still doesn't stop this mercenary from sticking with Old Faithful. Most of Deathstroke's highly augmented skills can be attributed to the secret governmental experiments he underwent. What's the holdup, Doctor? The mutagen is unstable when added to my original formula, but I'm very close to solving the problem. It'll be better and more powerful than ever. However, even before the procedure, he was considered one of the top soldiers in the world. Deathstroke is regularly seen with at least one automatic weapon, and proves that he doesn't need both eyes to bring down his target. <laughs> Number 2. Deadpool It's always important to remember that a gun is not a toy. Well, unless you're Wade Wilson. There's possibly no weapon that Deadpool hasn't been able to get his hands on. However, the twin pistols would have to be his most signature. I'm touching myself tonight. Due to the mercenary's highly erratic behavior, we'd suggest you exercise caution when he has them drawn, which is pretty much always. No stranger to getting shot himself, his healing factor keeps him on his feet and he is more than willing to trade bullets with anyone who gets in his way. Daddy needs to express some rage. Before we unveil our pick for top comic book characters who use guns, here are a few honorable mentions. Number one, The Punisher. Brought you some treats. It's gun show season in Virginia. No background checks, no problems. Everyone has their own way of dealing with tragedy. This Vietnam veteran has just decided to use firearms as therapy. The Punisher's vast knowledge in weapon use and maintenance comes from his many years in the military, which has also granted him unwavering discipline and a discerning lack of empathy. Vigilante carries a heavy arsenal and has demonstrated his willingness to pull the trigger as long as it's a means to an end, making him unpopular with both heroes and criminals alike. This is what you deserve. What you did to Nick. Who punishes you? Do you agree with our list? I don't mind being wrong, as long as I can correct my mistakes. What comic book character do you think packs the most heat? For more awesome top 10s published daily, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. We are done.